Oh, there are a lot of misconceptions about voting by mail in Florida due to the swirl of confusion and false assertions on social media. Here are three key facts that often get lost. One, there is no evidence of widespread fraud in voting by mail in Florida or anywhere else in this country. Two, Florida does not send out ballots willy-nilly to everyone in the voter rolls. And three, there is no such thing as an absentee ballot in Florida. We'll start there because that's become suddenly a particular point of confusion. Well, we get a number of comments like this one. When reading the president's tweet, you stated he voted by mail in Florida. It's incorrect. He voted by absentee ballot. Well, regardless of what any of the politicians may say, Florida phased out absentee ballots years ago. All ballots cast by mail are considered votes by mail. None are considered absentee ballots. Going all the way back to 2002, under Republican leadership, Florida got rid of the absentee requirements to encourage more people to vote by mail. As such, you don't have to be out of town or have any other excuse to vote by mail in Florida, and it's been that way for 18 years. And in 2016, the state changed the statute to clarify this point and make sure there is no confusion about the fact that absentee ballots no longer exist. They're all votes by mail with no excuse needed to take advantage of it. Now, here's another common message we receive. There's a big difference from requesting an absentee ballot and a massive mail out of ballots to every voter. Yes, those things are different, but Florida does not do either one of them. Absentee ballots were phased out years ago in favor of vote by mail for all who requested, and you will not get a ballot in the mail unless you request it. That means there's a paper trail and no mailing everyone a ballot just because. We keep pressing this point because we keep getting messages like this one. I just watched your piece on mail voting. You never mentioned whether you were speaking of absentee voting or unsolicited ballots being mailed. And again, absentee voting is a reference to a bygone era in Florida. And under Florida policy, our election offices do not mail unsolicited ballots. Election managers will encourage you to request a mail-in ballot, especially with the uncertainty surrounding the pandemic. One thing that's, that's going to happen with in-person voting is it's going to be slower. Um, we're going to be social distancing. Yeah, while counties have gone to great lengths to step up health and safety measures at the polls, the social distancing requirements and the enhanced cleaning will make it take longer to vote on Election Day. And election managers advise requesting mail-in ballots for the November election now to avoid the rush later. One third of the state uses the same vendor. Those printers are going to be stressed to the max. They need individuals to put themselves on the mail ballot list as soon as possible. Now we have the August primary, August 18th. That's in less than 10 days. And the deadline for requesting a mail-in ballot is 10 days before an election. So the deadline for requesting a mail-in ballot for the August primary just passed. But you still have time to request a ballot for November. You can do that either by calling your supervisor of elections, by going to an elections office, or you can easily do it online. Your county supervisor of elections website should have an easy to find button or link to request a mail ballot. You can then choose which election you want a mail ballot for, or you can choose all elections through the next two general election cycles. And our investigations and many others show it has a strong track record of security. Integrity Florida is a government watchdog based out of Tallahassee that spends a lot of time digging into state policies and procedures for potential problems. It just took a deep dive into Florida's vote by mail system and gave it very high marks. Overall, the report finds Florida should be well positioned to conduct a safe, reliable election with a robust vote by mail program. Integrity Florida's 38 page investigation found cases of fraud with mail ballots are exceedingly rare. It noted a study of all known voter fraud cases identified 491 instances out of billions of votes cast. Integrity Florida's research is in line with similar investigations across the nation. There are a huge number of checks in place to make sure that attempts at fraud will not succeed. One of those checks for fraud matches the signature you send in with your ballot to the one on file with the county elections office. And people who no longer sign their name as they once did can have their votes thrown out. This also rarely happens, but Integrity Florida found it's more likely to affect some voters more than others. Research that indicates minorities, young people, first time voters and voters with disabilities are most likely to have their ballots rejected because of non-matching signatures or other defects. 
Now, it's true Florida's had some problems, of course, with elections, including some doozies just two years ago. But keep in mind, most of those problems were confined to two counties, Palm Beach and Broward, which have since changed management. And while Republicans and Democrats don't agree on much of anything these days, remember President Trump and Democrats and Republicans all across the aisle see eye to eye when it comes to voting in Florida. They all say voting by mail in Florida is safe and secure.